So if you've been following my channel, you know I've experimented with LoRa radios in the past and also prepared some videos on how to set up a LoRaWAN gateway on the Things network. Currently, there are four gateways identified on TTN Mapper in the Tucson metro area in southeastern Arizona. My son's parkour team is going to do a hike on Picacho Peak located a little over 60 kilometers northwest of Tucson. Parents were invited on the hike, so I'll be bringing my LoRa node to see if LoRa telemetry can be realized from the peak to any or all of those gateways in the Tucson area, given good line of sight from the top of the mountain to Tucson. Before we hit the road, here's a quick visit to those four gateways in Tucson. I'm walking into the sun now, but it looks like I'm pinging the gateway that's on the roof of my house off in that direction right now, even though I'm right next to the desert lab. So I'm wondering if that gateway has an issue with its antenna. Maybe the location isn't ideally placed because I should be able to see the antenna on top of this building rather than having to reach out all the way across the valley to be considering that that's probably the gateway that's identified on TTN mapper something must be going on with it because there's no reason why I shouldn't be pinging that rather than the buildings way off in the distance over there so based on this survey it looks like I'll only have three candidates to talk to here in Tucson Folks, we arrived at Cacho Peak. We're gonna climb up to that little peak right there. Tucson and the gateways on the U of A, Zero Craft, and my house are off in that direction. So I'm gonna shut things down for now because I don't have any visibility and there's no uh, there's no connection taking place right now based on the uh, on the map. You can't really see this too well, but you can kind of see where we are right there. So there was a big stretch of highway where there was no telemetry. Let's see what happens once we get up to the top of this thing. Okay, so the node is boxed up, put away in my uh, in my backpack, and shut down. Let's go for a hike. 
I think so. All right, so I made it to the top. Tucson Mountains are off in that direction. All right, and MQTT just connected just now, but it doesn't look like I'm registering any data at this location, so. Uh, but I'll leave this on for a little while. Maybe I'll get a data point or two if I leave it here for a few minutes. All right, folks, so I don't know if you can see this. It looks like I'm talking to a couple gateways in Tucson. Let's see if I can get this in focus. And uh, it looks like it's the Gould Simpson and the ZeroCraft um, uh, gateways that are, that are actually getting pinged. Um, I'm getting telemetry off the top of Picacho Peak all the way to Tucson off this little battery powered <laughs> transmitter, which just blows me away. Four AA batteries, and I'm sending temperature and humidity data all the way to Tucson from the top of Picacho Peak. So that's pretty cool. Are we getting It's a plastic camera. It's okay. That's a $60 camera. All right, so I'm going to walk down this hill as far as I can. We're going to go over to the other side of this peak, and that's general direction of Phoenix. So I want to see if if there might be another gateway in the Phoenix direction that I can that I can ping. Only one way to find out, and that's to have this out and, and walk on the way back. So I'm in the saddle between two peaks right now. That little peak up there is where I just came down from. And that's the general direction of Tucson back there. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave this on in my backpack with the antenna sticking out for the hike back and see if I can collect any more data hiking down the hill. And the parkour team is gone. They're somewhere probably down by the parking lot right now, but this is a view from uh, the other side of the mountain. And I'm just gonna pause here and take a picture of this really cool rock formation right here. It's just amazing.
So the results suggest telemetry was realized with both the Modest Maker Gateway at ZeroCraft as well as the Gould Simpson Gateway at the University of Arizona. Unfortunately, my own gateway on Ravenwash did not realize telemetry, most likely due to line of sight interference from the surrounding Tucson mountains. If you'd like to do a deeper dive into signal strength and signal to noise ratios for the successful pings registered on February 11th, 2024 from my Feather Weather node, I'll include a direct link to the collected data in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for updates on this and all Modest Maker projects. Thanks.